For over 75 years, Johnson Publishing captured the essence of black life in America. From the civil rights movement to the rise of African-American entertainers and athletes, they documented history as it happened. Today, more than four million images from these publications comprise the Johnson Publishing Company archive. Oftentimes in the major newspapers, the stories that were depicted were of death, uh, murders, uh, lynchings, and so for a lot of African Americans, JPC and their publications represented a different perspective of the Black experience. It was positive, it was uplifting, it was joyful. The JPC collection is one of the most comprehensive records of Black culture in the 20th century, and the Getty Trust has committed $30 million to the stewardship of the archive. The project is pretty monumental and the Getty Research Institute is collaborating with the Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture to provide long-term access as well as preservation and storage of the collection. We decided that each institution would rely on their strengths for archival processing that's being led by the Getty Research Institute and digitization is being led by the Smithsonian and we're utilizing systems and platforms at both institutions that will develop an online portal where people will be able to interact and engage with the content. With a collection of this size and this scale, we only get one shot to get it right. A part of that really does require a lot of communication and coordination to really make sure that we're thinking holistically about the project. So outside of just archival processing and digitization, we have to think collectively about long-term storage and preservation. I think right now people are just excited and they want to know what's on the other side, what's in the boxes, what's in the folders. As the materials are digitized, we will release content to the public in batches. There's just so much good stuff in the collection that we don't want to wait to the very end. One thing that I'm looking forward to is for someone to discover that their mom or grandma was like a model in one of the magazines or that there's a piece of uh, genealogical history that they never knew about. I think this is a real opportunity to not only teach people about history using these materials, but I think we can look into this collection to get some answers that will help inform how we not only uh, move forward collectively as a society, but also how we treat people.